Hey guys, it's Agosi Delmar again and welcome back to my channel. So first of all, thank you again for joining the channel. I really appreciate your time. I also wanted to ask you if you could just click on the button below to hit subscribe because that's really gonna help me in bringing you a lot more content. Today I'm gonna continue the augmented reality videos and I'm gonna show you an application in AR that I'm working on and it uses a line render. So let's jump into Unity and start looking at it. Let me show you what I have in this application that I been creating and working because I think at this point I do want to release a new app and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what it does and what I have to do in the future and what things I want to build. So currently it's basically a drawing application for AR. I'm going to show you at the end of the video what it actually does in AR. So currently I'm basically, you know, I can draw lines, I can draw shapes if I wanted to. So. I can, so I'm basically using a line render. And, and the cool thing about this is I'm using the lightweight rendering pipeline to, to do the rendering. So it actually looks good and it actually performs really well. So as you can see, this one has shadows. So I have shadows set on, on the material that it gets set to the, to the line. So you can see if I go into and look at the line in the inspector, we can see that I have a line shadow material assign i also have cast shadows on and and this material is, is very is fairly simple i'll show you that in a minute i also have the tolerance set to one so this basically allows me to simplify the the lines and the other thing that i have is because we're using ar the width of the lines that i'm rendering need to be very 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 small otherwise they're going to be giant so because everything is in meters you want to make sure that you you know you you get you account for that so on the line width i'm using 0 0.015 i also have a color set to white because i'm actually using the i'm randomizing the color and and currently this one is using the color of the material but i'll show you when when i use a particles addictive material that what i'm doing is it's basically using the color that is set on the line to basically render the line so the other thing that I have in here is corner vertices set to 10. Also the end cap, the end cap vertices set to 10. The alignment I have it set to view because I really wanted to, you know, give it more depth. So if I were to change this to, so if I were to clear the lines, that's another feature that I added because I wanted to make sure that I add that I add that feature. The, the other thing, the lines went away because the clear button was, was selected. The, the other thing that I have in here is in the, in the draw line controller. This is a controller that I created to handle some of the settings that I have on the lines. So I can set the, not only I can set the corner vertices, the end cap vertices, and also a, a predefined line prefab, but I can also determine, you know, how that is going to look like. So if I were to, if I wanted to modify how the line looks like, I can go into the, basically the line and make changes on the prefab so that when I'm making changes in here, those basically get applied. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back and show you and show you some of that process say that I wanted to make changes to that. And as you can see, if I go and open the prefab, I could make changes to either the width in here or I could go back and change it and make changes to the controller. So let's say that I wanted to, you know, I wanted to change the material so I could go into my line, line shadow, and if I start drawing in here, I could change the material to be, I still, I could change it to be legacy shader and particles. And this is the one that I've been playing with. So I want it to be ad addictive. And then, so if you wanted to create, you know, more of a simple, I can also change the width of the line in here. I could say, okay, I want a much smaller line. And you can see that I can, I can do that. I could draw, you know, the word hello and and in here it might not look as cool, but imagine this in a mental reality where you're basically moving to an area and it just it just gives it a lot more, I guess a lot more fun when you're dealing with AR because you're moving around. So I can also change the width if I wanted to make a giant. You can see that the lines are actually really, it actually looks really cool. So the other thing that I have in here, let's say that I wanted to modify the line and make it smaller. So if I wanted to change the color, you can see that I'm picking a random color. And that is a function that I've been exposing to some of the previous tutorials that I show you. It's, it basically creates a random color and I set the color star and the color end. 
And that's why you kind of see a little bit of a gradient on this one. You can see that there's some gradient. So I could click it again and you'll see a different color showing. I can increment the width. And then you can see that, you know, as I'm doing that, I'm getting, I'm getting different colors. So I can increment it a little bit more. And then you can see different colors there. So there's multiple things that I could, that I could do. Not only I can use, you know, shadows and I can use lines that don't have shadows, but I can also control a lot of what happens with the, you know, the width of the line and then some of the other settings that the line render is currently using. So if I wanted to change, you know, what the sorting layer was, so some of these settings can be changed and then they'll be applied, basically applied to the line. So let me show you some of the code and how and how I'm doing this. So if I go into the AR session origin, you'll see that I have some other components that I already showed you in previous videos. Is one is the AR session origin. I show you how to set that up. Also the AR plane manager. This one I'm using because I need to make sure that I'm setting an anchor in, you know, when I'm doing the AR anchors and the lines don't move, no, don't move around. You wanna make sure that you do that because it, otherwise the lines are not gonna look realistic. And then I'm also using an AR Raycast Manager just to basically Raycast against the plane that I'm gonna be setting as a starting point for the lines. And also I, uh, AR Point Clap Manager because I wanted to know more a little about the area. I may want to add other things like stickers. I may want to use, you know, different components that I'm gonna be playing with because to be honest, this is a prototype right now. And as I'm adding more features to it, it might become more than a prototype, which is, is my goal to build, you know, a full, a full edge application so if we go and look at the draw line controller let me go ahead and open that up it's going to go into here assets open c sharp project and i'm not going to go into too detail in here but i'm just going to show you the some of the settings that i have are exposed through serialized fields so i have the distance from the camera line corner vertices and convert it cap vertices and then the tolerance so some of these settings are on the line render and what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you basically what i do with the randomization of the of the colors so i show you these before this is a get random color function that basically gets a randomized color so if we look at that and where that gets executed it gets executed when i select the big random color so i select the random color and then i also select a random m color so that's basically what I have right now on this on this application. Let me show you next how it actually runs when I run it in AR. All right, guys, so this is the application running on my phone. I wanna show you how I do the drawing in AR. Um, it's hard to tell, but there's a plane that is being created in augmented reality. And you can see that as I'm moving around, the shapes get actually drawn. So this is all I wanted really to show you. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching this video. I really appreciate your time. If you have any questions, please let me know. Also, be sure to check out GameDate.net because they have amazing resources for game developers. And also find me on Patreon.com where I'm basically posting information about what I'm doing behind the scenes and also early access to source code. Thank you very much, guys.